Hi everyone, this is Crystal Healing for Cancer. I am Daniel and welcome to this free group healing. Now today we're going to do a very special topic. It's about crystal healing for cancer. Now I know there's this big stigma around healing cancer, but when you actually get to the root cause of why cancer is there in the first place, we've actually got a lot to work with. And crystals have an incredible energy to bring up what's at the root cause of the cancer in the first place. So that's the first thing about healing cancer is we don't just start attacking the body. It's not a fight, as many people think. It's actually about understanding why the cancer is there in the first place. Now, crystals have this incredible ability to aid and support the body in healing, and it does that in two main ways. One, it helps bring to the surface what is causing the cancer. Now we have the subconscious mind. Subconscious mind is full of all these experiences that we've had since we were born. Some of those experiences were negative, some of them were positive, and some of them were downright destructive. Now, since we were young, we've been deciding all these things about ourselves, whether we're loved, whether we're happy, whether we're successful, whether we're failures, whether we're lucky or unlucky, and lots of beliefs that uh, can have detrimental effects on our body. So cancer is very much a result of some of the deepest, darkest things we've ever said to ourselves, the deepest, darkest beliefs that we carry about ourselves, and it forms a cluster of this negative energy that builds and builds, almost like its own consciousness within our body. And it's actually the opposite of life. So when we get into the nitty gritty, the, the depth of what the cancer is, it's actually the opposite of life. It's, it's at a point where we are now reversing the life force in our body. So crystals bring up all that subconscious beliefs and experiences that we have suppressed. We don't want to look at, it's painful, so we've buried it down. Now the body doesn't know how to deal with that other than it manifests as an illness such as cancer. So the very first thing that we have to do is bring that up to light, bring an awareness to what is that darkness, that those beliefs, that subconscious experiences, the decisions we made, without even remembering, bringing that up to the surface. Crystals do an amazing job at bringing what's in the subconscious mind into our awareness. So that's the first key thing that crystals can help us. The next thing that crystals help us do is they help support the body in its healing. Uh, lots of different crystals do different things. Some crystals give us the confidence that we can move through hard times. Some crystals actually pull and extract negative thoughts and these self-limiting beliefs, these negative things out of our cells. Now, this is what's so exciting. Over a series of years, after asking the universe, is there a fast track? Is there a way to help people heal much faster than what's currently available? I mean, the subconscious mind is full to the brim, thousands upon thousands of these negative self-limiting beliefs. How do you heal a lifetime of these things? Well, I want to introduce you to something really special. It's this called the Enlighten Me Machine, and it's a frequency generator that was given to me through all my meditations, a whole over a bunch of years of uh, two years solid meditating on this, because I was putting it out there to the universe. Is there a way, is there a frequency that we can harness that can actually not only bring these limiting beliefs, these negative beliefs to our conscious awareness, but actually pull them out of our organs, out of our cells, out of our muscles, out of the mind. Well, let me introduce you to the Enlighten Me. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be accessing the frequency of the Enlighten Me to help draw that cancer out. So if you're dealing with cancer or you know someone dealing with cancer, we're going to do some healing today which I think is really exciting. And you're probably going, yeah, but you're over there and we're over here. How's this energy going to come through? Well, when we're dealing with energies, and the, the Enlighten Me draws on a lot of crystal, crystal energy, okay? And we'll talk more about that in more videos, but draws on a lot of crystal energy, harnesses that, and a lot of other minerals as well. There's a few little uh, secret herbs and spices going on in here. And it draws on those frequencies that, we get from crystals, but they're not really activated in crystals. So this is activated crystalline energy. And I think that's what's so exciting about this. And we're getting amazing results 
I've done the most incredible healing on myself. This is a lifesaver for me. I've not only been healing thousands of my subconscious beliefs in, in like days instead of years, I'm actually working with it to heal really deep trauma that happened to me as a child. And I've never been able to heal trauma that quickly. So we're using it in all illnesses in all walks of life. So today, let's do some crystal healing on cancer. All right. To get started, just take a few nice deep breaths. I like to go for a rhythmic breath where we breathe in for four, hold for four, and out for four. So it's breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for four. So what we're going to do, we're going to harness this enlighten me energy and we're going to get connected through this video and it's going to reach you and we're going to do some amazing healing and it's going to help raise your vibrational frequency, which is the biggest key to having a great life. And of course, healing illness. Illness is a very low vibrational frequency. So EM is the gift that was given to me from the universe on how best to raise our vibrational frequency. So today we're using it for healing. All right, let's get nice and connected here. As I'm sending this beautiful enlighten me frequency to you to get you going, to get you started. So everyone who's watching now, we're getting nice and connected to this energy. You might feel this uh, as a lightness, as a warmth, as a calm, as a peace. And even if you don't, even if you don't necessarily feel anything right now, we're still doing the work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up to our awareness what is at the root cause of the cancer going on inside of you or somebody you know. And as we bring that up, it's cool. As we bring up that limiting belief, that limiting self belief, just know that this energy of the enlightenment is pulling it out of you. So it's not an affirmation. We're not bringing it deeper. We're actually bringing it to the awareness. And we're releasing it. And that's what this energy does. It pulls, it draws it out of us. Okay. So I'm going to start with a couple just to warm up and we'll get into a nice rhythm. All right. So connecting into all you guys right now, live. For me, it's live. For you, we're still, we're still all together and we're still all connected. And I'm bringing this. The first belief at, in there is I can't heal this on my own. All right, that is the first blockage that we're bringing up for healing. I can't heal this on my own. Now, of course, a belief like that makes it very difficult to move through. All right, so just know that's going, you can visualize that belief coming up and going straight into the sun if you like, or straight into a black hole into space. If you feel you want to visualize it leaving, if that helps, by all means. Either way, it's going. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Clearing. So the next clearing we're going to do is I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Now, whilst that is of course true, it's getting in the way of the healing. So just let it go. I don't deserve this. Because what I don't deserve this means is actually saying, I don't deserve the healing. So we don't want that in the way. So let's move that through. All right. And the next blockage we're going to clear is I'm not allowed to live. I'm not allowed to live. I'm not allowed to live. Clearing that. This is going to be hard to heal. Clearing that. This is going to be hard to heal. This is going to be hard to heal. The next blockage we're going to clear. So keep you breathing. Keep breathing through this. The next blockage we're going to clear is I won't live through this. Okay. I won't live through this. I won't live through this. Now remember, these are beliefs. These are just beliefs that are getting in the way of the body doing its healing. It can totally heal through cancer, but whilst we're carrying all these beliefs, the body and the brain are listening to the beliefs instead of the truth. Beliefs are beliefs. They're not the truth. Okay? So let's keep going. I'm just going to keep pushing this through and just keep allowing them to move out of you into the sun or into a black hole. Just allow that to keep moving. 
Okay, next belief coming through here is I'm likely to die. I'm likely to die from this. I'm likely to die healing that out of you. Next belief, I am dying. I am dying. Clearing that. I am dying. Clearing that out of the body. My time is running out. My time is running out. Clearing that out of the body and the mind. I won't make it through this. Clearing, I won't make it through this. I won't make it through this. Next one, I'm not strong enough to heal. I'm not strong enough to heal this. I'm not strong enough to heal this. Let's clear the next self-limiting belief that's in the way here. And that is, I don't deserve to live. Now, I know that sounds rough, but we've got a lot of beliefs we don't even want to believe we have. Okay, so we're just going to keep going. I don't deserve to live. Clearing that out of your body. I don't deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. Which, of course, is a non-truth. The next one in the way there is, life hates me. Life hates me. Clearing life hates me. Clearing that way out of you. Okay, another big one coming up here is, I don't want to live. I don't want to live. Clearing that belief. I don't want to live. Now remember, these beliefs happen at times, in the darkest times of our life. And we often don't remember ever thinking these things. But they get saved into the subconscious mind and into the body until there's too many of them that the body can't heal it all at once and they create illness. So we're healing them out, okay? Don't give yourself a hard time if they're there. And just be open, open to releasing them. All right, another big one coming through here is, I don't want to survive this. I don't want to survive this. I don't want to survive this. Next big one coming through, releasing that, releasing that. And the next big one is, I have too many regrets in life. I have too many regrets in life. Let's heal that. Visualize that leaving too many regrets in life. Good, good work. I don't want to live through these regrets. Another big one. I don't want to live through these regrets. Let's clear that out of us. I don't want to live through these regrets. Let's let that all go. Let's start coming to a completion here. I know this is big stuff, so we'll just do a little bit at a time. This is a nice dipping your toes into what's possible with crystals and using crystals to heal cancer. So let's go through a couple more. Next big one is, I don't deserve to be alive. I don't deserve to be alive. Let's heal that out of you. And the last one that we're going to do is life doesn't want me here. Let's heal that. Life doesn't want me here. Life doesn't want me here. Okay, visualizing that, leaving the body. All right, to complete, I'm just going to do an extra step with using our beautiful enlightenment here. So I'm just going to take all those beliefs and make sure any traces of them have left your body. So just give me a moment here, connecting in again to you, bringing that all up, all those experiences around that, having that leave every part of your body, every cell, and leaving your memory as well, subconscious mind, pulling that all out. There we go. How does that feel? I hope you can feel that shift. You might feel a little bit lighter, a little bit freer. Beautiful.
Well done. That was your first soiree into Healing with the Enlightened Me. Thank you for joining me for Crystal Healing for Cancer. If you'd like to know more about how to go even deeper using the Enlightened Me, check out the link in the description and we'll see you all very soon. Bye.